Well, the events in Brasilia are very formal, very grand, with lots of grandeur and for President Rousseff and her supporters, it is a day for celebration. But she does have a very tricky mandate ahead of her. It's a very different scenario than the one she found four years back when she started her first term. Today, she's in Brasilia under a scorching sun uh, being greeted by supporters. Uh, she just arrived uh, at the ceremony where her new ministers, the 39 ministers of this mandate, will be officially appointed, will take office. Um, This new ministry is also quite telling of the tricky moment this uh, government is facing. President Rousseff appointed some names that were quite controversial because lots of the choices were clearly political, wanting to please parties uh, that are allies of the government, that are part of the government's coalition, and that were criticized by many for not being exactly the, the right names for for very specific areas like the sports ministry or the science ministry. Now, President Rousseff made this choice of being doing this political game because she's facing a very divided Congress. She's facing this major political crisis, this major crisis in Petrobras, Brazil's oil giant, with a corruption scandal that may uh, hit several political uh, figures in Congress. And so she's playing a game, trying to, to keep the space intact, keep some support for her government in a new term that's already starting uh, looking quite tricky with the economy in such a fragile situation. And when you mention the economy, in her first term, she was quite a fan of the interventionist state, quite a lot of public spending. Can she afford to keep doing that? Well, now it's a different moment. She's, had, she's faced lots of criticism for the expenditures of the government. And now um, she has acknowledged the need to make adjustments. She has named a new finance minister, Joaquin Levy, who has pleased uh, a name that's pleased the markets and is seen as someone who can make the adjustments necessary. But this also uh, implies some unpopular measures that may affect the public and And it will be tricky to balance uh, how many of these cuts are made and how much she can keep making the social improvements and the social investing in the social programs for which the Workers' Party is, is well known and for which it received many of its votes in the past.